Hi, my name is Kay Matthews, and I'm the executive director of the Ontario BIA Association, or OBIA as we call it. A BIA is a business improvement area, and those are often reflective of our local main streets, our downtowns. Uh, in places like Mississauga, you would think of them as Streetsville and Clarkson, uh, Port Credit. And the job of a BIA is to make the area vibrant and to make the area uh, a good place in which to, to do business, uh, a good place to live. Uh, so it's a good, it's a, it's a whole system of creating a collective good so that the area is a good place to work, live, play, uh, and do all things community in our downtown. In our second B BIA that I managed, um, when I first arrived there, I, I didn't live in the community and I wanted to be a part of it, but I also really knew that I needed to engage with the local arts council. And I was very surprised to find that they didn't have one. So not long after that, um, I joined a committee and we created a culture roundtable for the whole area. Uh, and I was very proud to work with that group. And they helped to, to bring us together. So in that particular BIA, we had a theater group uh, in the downtown, uh, in the library as a part of it. So we made partnerships where uh, I would connect a, a place to, to sell their tickets uh, to have dinner afterwards or before the show or before the theater, whichever was happening that time. But even beyond that, in creating community, we build it by the arts. We build it by making the area a beautiful place. And that's where your jobs come in, the work and passion that you do. Our business improvement areas, they do the banners and the benches. They do the murals on the side of the, uh, side of the buildings. And they often do things like uh, public art, like sculptures, uh, di that different sort of thing. And so the arts are a really important part of what every business improvement area does. I know one community recently had a group of artists come in to, to paint the picnic tables that they were putting up um, in the patios as a part of the, the way that we could engage our businesses and our residents in the patios because of course, our restaurants were closed pre during COVID and so on. But again, we really want to get back to our festivals and events post-COVID. Uh, we know that our festivals and events are where the artists come to perform, uh, to be a part of it. And I certainly know in my two BIAs that I managed, I often hired local arts groups or local musicians or dancers or um, drummers, percussionists to come into the festivals uh, to make the, the festival a, an exciting and wonderful thing to, to go to. And it was a wonderful program because it meant that we were able to support the artists. We were able to, to, to pay them, um, to give them a job to do, but they were also therefore an even stronger part of the local community as well. So bringing a BIA together with the arts community is a really important thing to do. And I challenge you to get engaged with your local BIA and, and really it show how as a partnership, the two of you could really, really work together to make the whole community a better place. And that's, that's the name of the game for us. Um, I really think that there is a great deal of scope in working together. I know there's one organization that is actually literally helping to paint sidewalks and paint the sides of planters. And um, it's really done a lot to help to keep our downtowns vibrant. And believe me, through COVID, our main streets have been severely impacted by so much of the regulations and, and, and the decisions um, and, and frankly, the pandemic by itself. So by working closer together, we can help rebuild Ontario. Thank you so much for the opportunity to talk with you this, this morning, uh, and I really look forward to, to hearing from you uh, or connecting you with our local BIAs. My name again is Kay, K-A-Y Matthews. I'm with the Ontario Business Improvement Area Association, and our email address is info at obiaa.com. Stay in touch and let's work together to make our, our communities beautiful and vibrant. Thank you.